Hello citizens of the world. This is an important message from the anonymous charity, also known as the collective. Most of you have not yet heard of article 13, which has just been passed in the European Union. This could have immediate and dire consequences for a lot of YouTube content creators. We, the collective will explain article 13 to you, and we will also give you the answers to questions, you did not realize you needed to ask. First question, what is article 13? It's a part of a proposed copyright legislation in the European Union, created with the intent to better protect creativity. It seeks to find effective ways for copyright holders to protect their content online. Google and YouTube state that they fully support Article 13's goals and its aim to help creators and artists succeed. However, the current proposal of Article 13 written by the European Parliament will create large unintended consequences. It threatens hundreds of thousands of creators, artists, and others employed in the creative economy. So, why should you care? As currently written by the European Parliament Article 13 could mean that YouTube is forced to block millions of existing and new videos in the EU. It could drastically limit the content that you can upload to YouTube in Europe. This would be especially hard for creators and artists since many types of videos could be blocked. Those include educational videos, lots of official music videos, fan music covers, and mashups, parodies, and more. So, what would happen with Article 13? The proposed version would eliminate our existing notice and takedown system. This would make platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, Dailymotion, Reddit, and Snapchat liable, at the moment of upload, for any copyright infringement in uploads from users, creators, and artists. Platforms including YouTube would be forced to block the majority of uploads given the uncertainty and complexity of copyright ownership. So what does this mean for you, as a YouTube creator or artist in the EU? If you're in any of the 28 member states, YouTube and other platforms may have no choice but to block your existing videos and prevent you from uploading new ones in the European Union. Unless you can prove that you own everything in your videos, including visuals and sounds. So. What does this mean for you, as a creator or artist not in the EU? YouTube and other platforms will likely block your videos, including existing ones to use as in the European Union if there's partial or disputed copyright information. Is Article 13 approved yet? Back on September 12, 2018, the Parliament voted to move forward with Article 13. However, it's not yet a law. The language is being drafted and revised between representatives from three key groups, the European Commission, the European Parliament and the European Council. The language could be finalized by the end of the year and EU member states may have up to two years to make the directive international law. So, what can you do to help? It's important that policymakers hear and see that real people could be negatively impacted if Article 13 goes into effect. As written by the Parliament, creators like Phil DeFranco, Le Floyd, RT News, Fox, MGTV, Yes Theory, Eric Dubé and others are already speaking up. Many individuals, companies, and groups are also speaking out. These include Sir Tim Berners-Lee, the individual who invented the World Wide Web, Reddit, Patreon, WordPress, and Medium. It also includes the European Digital Rights Group, and the Internet Archive. That's why we, the anonymous charity, need you and your subscribers, to make your voice heard now by making a video about article 13 by tweeting about it 
with the hashtags hash save your internet hash anonymous charity and joining their movement at the anonymous charity .org. the time for change is now no longer shall the people be oppressed by corruption no longer shall those without a voice go unheard we are the anonymous charity we are the collective will you stand with us